account. So in response to a lot of this backlash against Kaepernick, uh, there came out a swarm of support from veterans across uh, the United States. So this is a, a veteran responding to Tommy Lauren of The Blaze. And if you don't know who that is, consider yourself very lucky because she's a horrible human being. But anyway, so she went off on this tangent about how Kaepernick's awful. And um, a veteran here responded uh, saying that, I didn't join the military for a song or a piece of cloth, regardless of the high reverence I hold them in. I joined to protect the rights that he acted under. You claim to support freedom of speech, but run your mouth like an immature schoolgirl when you don't agree with how someone expresses themselves. He sat in peaceful protest because he felt motivated to exercise his First Amendment right in response to a grievous social issue. That's an American how. I'm sorry, I didn't realize we were emulating North Korea. How dare you open your mouth under the false guise of patriotism to berate anyone for exercising their rights as a, as pinned with uh, quill and ink by our founders. Rights that brave men and women bleed and die for. The foulness you just spewed is an insult to all true patriots and to the sacrifices that so many have made. And that's so true. Um, I, I mean, I actually find these attacks on Kaepernick to be quite offensive. Um, and I, I feel like they're the threat to my freedom. It's just this growing attitude of you must obey, you must obey, you must obey, you must worship the state, you must worship the flag um, that tr tries to quell the, uh, dissent. I mean, it's it's frightening and that's a far bigger threat to our freedoms than Kaepernick okay um, and then let's get into one more the independent journal uh, review wanted to know basically what what veterans thought about this and I did just want to respond to one in particular they chose uh, Dorian Majid I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly but Dorian Majid um, He's an army ranger veteran who served in Iraq. He said, uh, I understand Kaepernick's intentions. However, I disagree with his means. His NBA counterparts protested the same ideas in a way that neither hurt the country nor ignored the ideals that people of color have fought and died, which ideals represented by the symbolism of the American flag and words of the national anthem. Um, so the first part when you say, Dorian, uh, that you understand Kaepernick's intention, but you just don't agree with his means. If you understood his intention, you wouldn't be this concerned about the means. And then right here, so this second line where it says, as a member of a national organization reaping the benefits of a country that apparently oppresses people who look like him, his argument is thin on a personal level. That's the whole point, Dorian. That's the whole point. He is given a platform. He is risking everything. And you can't act like some kid who flunked out of college and didn't have any other options and joins the army is somehow braver than someone who literally has everything and is okay losing everything if it means it can help people who are less fortunate than he is. Um, no, that is a brave person. That is a courageous person. Okay, so moving on. He could write his congressman, he could petition, he could pick it, he could join the service and actually fight for the rights he seems to think are not offered to him. His sitting through the national anthem was a lazy lack of will and brain power. So this could not be more backwards. It's actually because of people like Kaepernick, who even when it's unpopular, he speaks the truth. He stands up for what's right. When we have people in this country who can just kill with impunity, it it doesn't exactly create a 
culture of freedom. Um, and I'll even put up a, uh, a clip of a veteran that agrees with me on this, but you, it seems to me like you're actually fighting against his freedom, seeing as uh, the first time he does some sort of peaceful protest um, against a legitimate issue that's going on right now in the United States, you take it upon yourself to um, criticize him and, and tell him like how lazy he is. What they do is they draw this correlation. A lot of a lot of people in the military, or a lot of these neoconservatives, do this, or people that with this very pro-military mindset. They draw this parallel where it's like everything that they do is for freedom, and because they went on this mission that has nothing to do with anything, not anything to do with my life, not even against people that are a threat to me. Um, they are somehow fighting for my freedom. It seems to me like Kaepernick, uh, through actions like uh, peaceful protest and just simply speaking out and using his voice and using his platform for the greater good, people like him are who the people in this country owe their freedom to. The United States military was partially responsible for creating ISIS and you're going to act like we owe our freedom to you or any or there's no there's no one else that we owe that to and I'm and I'm just sick of it like there can definitely be people in the military who are freedom fighters who do join with good intentions there are people who join the military also to, to take out like these actual bad threats like um, ISIS and terrorists and and things that actually could potentially be a threat to our freedom, but just going in and occupying nations and and trying to police the world, I mean, that is nothing at all that has anything to do with my freedom. And in fact, it's actually one of the main things that's threatening my freedom. So, like, I don't, I, I don't owe you this big debt of gratitude. And I certainly feel like I owe a debt of gratitude to someone like Kaepernick more than I do just, um, you know, a random military person. Now, I want to mind you, this this is um, this is why I do say this is one of the more civil responses. Like, there wasn't any just horrific character assassination, and um, he did even recognize to or refuse to stand for the national anthem is his right as an American, and I support that right. However, I do not agree with that action. There are a myriad of other ways to conduct social protest for people of color that don't, um, whether by intent or otherwise, ignore the American principles that have given rise to extreme um, integration within a single American generation. My father was born without the right to vote. In one generation, I've been blessed to lead amongst the world's greatest fighting force. So right here, when you say ignore the American principles, that have given rise to extreme integration within a single American generation. No, I, I actually feel like it's the opposite. I feel like those who just blindly stand, blindly say the Pledge of Allegiance um, are the ones that are actually ignoring the supposed uh, principles and values um, that, that that flag is supposed to uh, symbolize in that if you did care about justice, if you did care about liberty and freedom, um, then why would you be willing to sit there and lie and pledge your allegiance to a country and say, I will do what you tell me to do, I will stand by you, I will support you and all your ideals, when those ideals aren't even matching up to what like this Pledge of Allegiance is saying, um, it's not giving liberty and justice for all, and I definitely commend and I'm very proud of those individuals, especially those with notoriety and power like Kaepernick, who are willing to take a stand so that we can have those things, so that maybe those words actually can mean something, but to, to just lie and and s say that injustice is justice and to say that a country that 
oppresses its own citizens in so many ways, um, especially judicially. I, I mean, it's just, to, to call that freedom and to call that justice is just a lie and it's not right and it's and it's making these things seem okay when we put a different name on it and i commend those who call it what it is and then he ends right here he says proper action is exactly that action not the inaction of not standing because he couldn't think of a better way to protest and again i would disagree i would think that, that is a a belief um, that we've kind of just kept repeating, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. I mean, even the Bible says that we don't wrestle against flesh and, and blood, but against principalities in high places. Um, so you, it, it's actually the battle of, idea, of ideas and the battle of the mind that is the most important um, to freedom and the preservation of freedom. Uh, that is where our power lies um, in being on the right side of an issue, in knowledge, in truth, and in a love for justice and instilling that value into every generation and instilling the love of freedom into every generation so that when they see injustice, when they see a lack of freedom, it disgusts them and they, they won't stand for it and they won't say it's okay and they won't brush it under the rug and Kaepernick is a very brave man to have done what he did and um, to to tell him that <laughs> he should have done something else when this is the action that got you talking and got a lot of people talking and actually gave up a, a voice to so many people who don't have as much of a voice as he does um, is, is absurd because clearly it was very effective. Um, and, and he basically ends up by saying the American flag and the national anthem represent the highest of American ideals, not the lowest ideals. And again, I would say I, I agree with you in that. And, the American flag is a uh, representative of that, but uh, I think far more than a piece of cloth, when I think of America, I think of the spirit of dissent. I think of a voice crying in the wilderness. I think of people who stand for justice, who stand against oppression, who don't brush things under the rug, who don't say things are okay when they're not okay, and who don't settle. And so for you to act like because America isn't the worst country in the world, it can't improve. I mean, do you really think that our founders were living in the worst country in the world when, when they left? So ironically, I actually feel as though um, dissent even more than a cloth, a piece of cloth or a flag, even if it was made for these things, is far more a representation and a symbol of American freedom, prosperity, and justice than anything else. And you know, our, our founders weren't exactly seen as very patriotic. In fact, they were seen as uh, traitors and, and as treasonous and all this other stuff when they uh, went against the king and, and their corrupt rulers and basically told them to go screw themselves. So this is a nation founded on um, righteous indignation. It's a nation that is founded on a love of justice, a love of truth, and, and standing up um, against oppression. So I would like to commend Kaepernick for sitting for our freedom. All right, thank you very much.